We are going to be talking about 25 website traffic methods exposed. And these are going to be 25 proven methods to get targeted traffic to your website. This is going to be a two part series. So, this first session is going to cover traffic methods 1 through 10. And these are not in any particular order. These are basically just an overview of 10 different proven traffic methods that you can use to get traffic to your website, to build your leads, to uh, drive sales, whatever your goal is online, make affiliate income. These methods will apply for any kind of website. Website traffic and your business. Without website traffic, your online business simply will not survive. It's an essential part of your business. You need people coming into your quote unquote store, so to speak. It's just like an offline business. They need foot traffic. You need web traffic. You need browsers on your website. Whether it's your blog, you're trying to build leads up, whatever the case is, your business needs web traffic. Traffic brings you the audience that takes action on your site. Again, without people on your website, no action is going to take place. No list building is going to take place. No sales will take place. No affiliate commissions will happen. Uh, you can't sell advertising space on your website if nobody's there. So you need web traffic. Targeted website traffic is the absolute best type of traffic. You're better off getting a targeted visitor, meaning somebody that's really interested in the material on your website, than you are if you just get a casual web browser that may just be targeted to, let's say, just the United States. Well, they could be interested in all kinds of stuff. Like, you would be better off getting a thousand people that are interested in model trains on your model train website than if you had 10,000 visitors that are just US browsers for example maybe they're just targeted to the country and you have 10,000 of those you're going to get much better result from the 1,000 people that are model train enthusiasts so you don't necessarily have to have it's not about having the absolute most traffic but it's having a good amount of targeted traffic that's going to achieve the results that you're looking for one thing with traffic that's really important is you do not want to put all your eggs in one basket. And when I say that, I simply mean you don't want to focus on too many website traffic methods at, or you don't want to, what you don't want to do is you don't want to focus on one in particular traffic method. And so that would be like you don't want to have your only traffic source be Google pay per click because as many people may know at any point Google could decide to change things. They could double or triple the price you're paying per click. They could decide to close your account down because you don't have control over that. Uh, a variety of reasons uh, could be a reason here. So. You don't want to put all your eggs in one basket. You want to focus on a variety of traffic methods, which is why over this two-part course, we're covering 25 traffic methods and giving you an overview of each method, what it entails, and what you can do to start generating traffic. So you want to focus on a variety of traffic. Rely on traffic from multiple sources around the web. That's going to help sustain you if, let's say, pay-per-click goes down, but you have links coming from press releases. Maybe you have banner ads going out there. You have solo ads. You have a variety of different other methods like SEO or blogging and different things that are funneling traffic to you. You want to be consistent with your traffic efforts. That's so important. Remember that content is key to any traffic strategy, and I will talk about that as we move forward. Uh, but really, to get any kind of sustainable, good traffic online, especially nowadays in such a social world and a world where people are seeking information, you need to be producing good, solid content to keep your audience interested. And you want to be consistent with your content creation and your traffic efforts. The first part before we jump into each one of these 10 methods is to talk about tracking your website visitors. And to do that, this is really important because it's really good for you to know where your website visitors are coming from. And Google Analytics is a great free tool to tell you this type of information. They will tell you how many visitors per day you're getting to your website. Uh, they will narrow it down by what keywords they're coming for, what pages on your website are actually getting the traffic or the majority of the traffic what page people are exiting from. They really give you some really good information. They tell you what countries people are visiting from. Really everything you would expect from a paid tracking solution you actually can get with Google Analytics. And so to set that up you just want to go to google.com 
forward slash analytics. If you already have like a Gmail account or a Google account for Google Plus or something like that, then you're already set up. Uh, basically, you'll just go to google.com analytics and you'll go through the steps to set up your first website with them. You could also use inside your control panel if you're using HostGator. Uh, Bluehost also has this. They have a similar type control panel. A lot of the major web hosting companies have uh, web tracking already actually built in as well. There is something called Webalyzer or AW Stats or AWStats, depending on how you want to pronounce it. But there's Webalyzer or AW Stats, and this is from your website cPanel. So you can actually find that inside your web hosting control panel and this is kind of what they look like you'll see the arrows pointing to webalyzer and aw stats you can actually click there and it will tell you similar information uh, from what Google Analytics tells you I actually recommend you consider using both because they're both going to tell you different kind of Intel uh, webalyzer and aw stats most of the time are automatically already set up to work so if you forget to do Google Analytics right out of the gate you could turn to these two solutions to see what kind of traffic you're getting and I would compare the three of them actually because they will give you slightly different results but it's gonna give you information that maybe the other one might be lacking so tracking your visitors is super important because that's gonna tell you are the methods you're implementing working as the content you're producing engaging to where people are wanting to stick and stay on your website and also most importantly you know what what are your traffic numbers are they improving are they going down do you need to do more of a certain thing uh, those types of things is what you're going to want to be looking for you also want to look at keywords these tools will tell you what keywords people are looking for when you're actually tracking your website visitors so they will give you some really good intel to look at so here's some proven website traffic methods these are the 25 methods we will cover over this two-part series the first one is search engine optimization or SEO as some people call it and I'll go into detail on each one of these Facebook absolutely huge amount of traffic is available on Facebook Pinterest it's a new picture uh, sharing type website for pin boards and I'll explain that Twitter many people know what Twitter is pay-per-click ads so like the ads you see in Google paid banner ads advertisements that you would place on targeted websites Amazon you can actually get a lot of traffic through Amazon through a variety of different channels that they actually sell blogging is absolutely one of the best traffic strategies out there and it's a good way to start any kind of well-rounded traffic plan and we'll discuss that as well RSS submission so submissions of your blogs uh, RSS feed RSS stands for real simple syndication and you can actually syndicate your blog post to many different blog directories and that will really help boost you up in the search engines forum marketing that is another thing and with any of these traffic methods it's all about exposure so the more of these methods you can implement or that you can zero in on like I talked about you don't want to have all your eggs in one basket because if one traffic method fails like I know a lot of people that SEO is their main focus uh, that used to be where I was at they focus completely on SEO and then all of a sudden Google changes their algorithm and next thing you know they're they have next to no traffic because all they focused on was just getting the higher search engine ranking instead of focusing on having a variety of sources funneling traffic to their website so it's all about getting exposure the more places you're found online the more times people are gonna see your website and potentially visit it Q&A websites we'll talk about that in part two uh, press release websites online classified sites directory submissions social bookmarking article submissions guest blogging web 2.0 sites like Squidoo, hub pages you've probably heard of those sites uh, old school marketing strategies these are old school marketing strategies uh, that work in your local community for getting uh, website traffic these are methods that have been around for ages even before the internet and I'll talk about how to utilize these to get people onto your website solo ads that that's a really good quality traffic source depending on the niche you're in uh, joint ventures absolutely by far the best way to get website traffic blog commenting that's a big one viral reports so like creating viral reports and then video marketing is another outstanding website traffic method that is really only getting bigger and bigger and more people are interested in video marketing 
and then there's document sharing websites as well so traffic method number one is SEO or search engine op create an online business.com download edit offer